thank you so much for supporting me on Sam Week. I had such a great time doing it and I am so grateful for every one of your comments and all of your support while I was doing it and the encouragement and I've just my channel grew so much during Sam Week and I could not be more thankful and I thought as a little celebration, a little treat, I'd do at least one more Sam thing where I go through some of my old sketches I have in my sketchbook of Sam and maybe color a few and talk about him a little bit. I have been trying to draw Sam since last year and a lot of these are mixed from last year, some are more recent, and I just went through my sketchbook seeing if I had any that I could show you guys so you could see my progress from going from how I was before to what you just saw for Sam week. Um, I did draw mostly Jamie in my time. I did do Sam as himself and Jamie since those are my two favorite characters. But yeah, so I thought it'd be really cool to take a traditional sketch instead of a digital one and to maybe color it in or add some effects to it. Um, I didn't get to color all of the sketches in or finish them all because my Photoshop and my OBS studio, which I use to record these videos, was just not having it and so I decided to, you know, salvage what I could and move forward for you guys. I have not seen such support on my work on my channel in the year and four months that I've been doing it until Sam Week and I, I'm so grateful for you guys. I, I've had so many lovely words, comments, and so many likes and shares that I'm just not used to that kind of attention but I want to say thank you so much because of all of this and thank you for all the people who have been there since the beginning of my channel as well. Um, I am now at 56... Uh, <laughs> sorry. I am now at 56 subscribers. When I first started this channel I had a hard time making it to 10 and it took me so long to be able to get to, you know, like 40 or 45. And once I started actually making art about like certain things that I really cared about, because I usually tried to stray away from celebrities, just so, you know, it wouldn't be just too flooded with mainstream stuff. But since this is someone I really, really care about, I was so happy so happy that when I did this as a celebration and an homage to him that, you know, it turned out. So once I discovered that making things that I enjoy could turn out, that just made my heart feel so light. If you are not in the art community or you've not been around it or in it in any form, one of the things that happens is that you can love art to pieces, you can love it more than anything, and you want to do it for your life, your whole life, and yet, often what happens is you go through all the work, you put in all the work, and what you want to do isn't really the thing that you can make money off of doing, and if it is, you don't get to draw things the way you want, you have to answer to, you know, other people. And if you do end up pursuing something that is of your own accord, your own ideas, the things you want, it um, doesn't take off as well unless you spend years upon years upon years doing it and even then it might not turn out. May or may not, you have to put in the work for sure. But a lot of the times when you work really hard you find out that you can't do the things you want to do. It's like, well, I have to work for a company or I have to take a commission for someone and draw something that I'm not passionate about or I have to do this so I can pay rent or for my bills, you know? And so usually I was just trying really hard to find any way to show a little bit of my work so I could get potential clients but also to share my love of art and a lot of the times a lot of the things I make haven't, haven't done quite as well. And I'm not saying this is pity, and I'm not saying like I need more followers. I'm I'm perfectly content with what I have. I mean, if you want to subscribe and you haven't already, of course, I would love you to join my community. I mostly do this because I just want to share 
my talent with other people, give them something to look at, something to be happy about, or just to relax to, and so they can enjoy a little bit of what I like to enjoy, because this is the way I unwind and how I build my work. So, um, ironically, since I've drawn Sam Hewitt, my channel has never done any better than it has since the last video I posted for his birthday, and I'm only hoping that I can keep your guys' attention throughout all of my videos and that I can make exciting, interesting content for you and just keep growing and learning and putting myself out there. It's not easy work and uh, sometimes I have a really hard time coming out with an idea for a video or putting something that I want out there and it's not quite the quality I wanted it to be or so many things can go wrong and especially when you do this in your free time, you know, because you have to make money, you have to work during the day, you have to work hard on this at night and if you really love something, you will put in the work and I also believe that's that's kind of what Sam does as well. Again, I've mentioned this in my Sam Week videos and you can go check them out, I'll link the playlist to you here, but definitely I can see his work ethic. I can see the way he's put himself like through, he went through schooling and he had experience like working at theaters and doing plays and he just, he just kept going and he did what he loved anyway, no matter what. And I'm happy for him because he was able to actually make it. You know, it's, it's amazing when you see celebrities and they'll say, you know, I was an average person. I I worked regular jobs, I did all this, but it doesn't turn out that way for everyone, but not everyone is as dedicated to their craft. They think, oh, I won't get that far anyway, so why try or why put in the effort for it? But that's exactly why you have to. Like, you can't, you can't, you know, feel like you failed if you never stop trying. Like, if you never give up, there's always a chance. And even if you don't make it, at least, you know, you can't say that you didn't try. Because you did. You did everything in your power to try. And I feel like I'm sounding kind of cheesy right now, and I'm, I'm sorry. Um, and I have a lot of, a lot of work, and to build myself up to the point that I could draw Sam, it took time. It took about a good year, over a year, and even now. I still struggle because it's hard to stay 100% consistent with the quality of work you want. That's why you need to practice all the time and I have so many sketches, so many sketches and failed drawings and like just random doodles in my sketchbooks and on my computer of just Sam in different angles and different, you know, characters, costumes, hair makeup, everything. I put in all my time that I could to try and get better because there are, there are a lot of things that are hard and he is one of the things that is hard to draw. Another thing as an artist is if you don't, you're not ever going to get better if you don't, you know, do the things that scare you. You need to do the things that scare you, like drawing hands, drawing faces, drawing certain angles of heads, bodies, arms, whatever it may be. You need to not ignore it. You need to actually draw it because you will not get better. And I know for the longest time, I was one of those people that ignored the things I didn't like to do and just stuck to what I was good with. And I didn't really get anywhere. So I learned that the only way to actually get better is to practice. And I have people telling me all the time, you know, oh, you're so, you're so talented. No, I'm not saying that as a break, but they're like, I wish I could do that. Of course you can. You have to really put in the work. And finally, here are some of the sketches that I've had in my sketchbook from beginning when I was earlier to drawing Sam and Jamie to, of course, what I've been drawing to now. You can see that if you just really apply yourself, keep going, keep changing, keep growing, you can make it. Thank you so much once again for all of you. I hope you guys stick around and 
I hope to see you guys in the next video. Alright, have a good day you guys. Bye.